Hi, I'm Miss Emma, and today I thought I would teach you how to make pancakes. Pancakes are a perfect, easy recipe to make with kids. To make the pancakes, first we gather all our ingredients together, and we mix the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients separately. So here I have two cups of flour that I've measured out, and we're going to add a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder and we're going to add a couple teaspoons of sugar. If you want to put in a little salt you can, it's not absolutely necessary. We're going to mix those together. Now for our wet ingredients, I've mixed two eggs, I've mixed a cup and a half of milk, it doesn't matter if it's whole milk or skim milk, it's all good, and I've mixed in a of yogurt. Um, you could put in a half a cup of sour cream, a half a cup of buttermilk if you wanted, but you want something a little acidic because it reacts with the baking soda and adds more rise to make nice fluffy pancakes. Now we need to combine our two bowls. I'm just going to pour all of the liquid ingredients in all at once. And taking a big spoon, I'm very gently mixing this. When you mix too vigorously, it makes the gluten in the flour react. Now, the thing I like about this pancake recipe is that it's very forgiving. If I look at my batter and think, that is way too thick, I can just add a little extra milk. If it's too thin, add another scoopful of flour. It's a very forgiving recipe. Now we're going to let the batter rest for just a couple minutes while we finish cleaning up and get our pan hot. Now that we've cleaned up our counter, something you should always do as a good cook, we've taken out our big heavy pan. You want to get a pan as um, heavy as you can because it holds the heat better and your pancakes are less likely to burn. We've heated it up over medium heat for a few minutes and now we've melted the butter and we're looking at the butter and you can see it's getting these little bubbles. That means it's ready for the batter to get into it. So, I don't make perfectly round pancakes. Um, I'm sure that if you really wanted to, you could figure out how to do that, but I'm happy to make them this shape. Any shape they want to come out, it's all good. They taste delicious. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. Um, I might be able to fit one more pancake in there, but I don't usually do more than three or four at a time. Now we're going to let those cook for a few minutes. So now you're probably wondering, how do I know how long it takes until they're ready to turn over? It takes two or three minutes, but the better way to check is to see that your pancake is getting these little air bubbles. And you can see right around the edge that it's starting to turn brown. You can peek like that. And once you do that, you flip them over, or you get your grown-up to help you. And then you cook them for two or three minutes on the other side. If you want to put something into your pancakes, say chocolate chips or frozen fruit, you want to put about half the amount of batter in the pan that you're going to need, ultimately. I'm going to do chocolate chips, because they're my kids' favorite. And I'm just sprinkling a few on top, like this. And then I'm sandwiching them with a little more batter to get the right size pancake. I like to make sure all the chocolate bits are covered, but you can do it the way you want to. As I said, pancakes are very forgiving. And now we'll do the same thing that we do with plain pancakes. We're going to wait a few minutes till we see the bubbles on top and the brown around the edges. Flip them over and cook the other side. Pancakes are ready to eat. Of course, you can always eat them with maple syrup, the traditional topping here in New England. I also like to eat them with raspberry jam. Um, a nice taste is to mix some fresh lemon juice and confectioner's sugar and pour that on top. And of course, you can just dip your pancakes into cinnamon and sugar if that's what you have. No matter how you eat them, even plain, they are delicious.